I would recommend watching the Luis Ortiz versus Latif Kioli fight uh, that took place last night in Las Vegas. Uh, at the minute, there is a, a clip of the fight on YouTube, and it's certainly one that I'd like to point people in the direction of it. Uh, First and foremost, it's not going to take up a lot of your time. Uh, the fight ended with Luis Ortiz winning by first round knockout. Um, so I say knockout, it was possibly uh, whilst it will go down as a KO, it was a, a referee stoppage. Uh, but I thought Luis Ortiz looked really, really good. Um, he's someone who's been on my radar for, for quite a bit of time. Uh, I've been aware of him principally because of his very high ranking in the, the WBA um, governing body rankings where he's been number two uh, for quite some time but I was very much impressed by his performance last night and think that this could be uh, his sort of first breakthrough into the mainstream um, he won what is arguably a, a slightly meaningless belt with the WBA interim title uh, the reason I say it's meaningless is because we've got Klitschko as WBA super champion we've got Chigayev as the WBA regular champion so to have a, a third heavyweight champion just with a single governing body in the form of Luis Ortiz is, is slightly bizarre and does sort of mean that the the belt he's won, you have to question the worth of that belt, so we say. Uh, but Luis Ortiz, I thought, performed really well. Uh, he's tw Now he's 22-0, and 22 wins, uh, 19 by way of knockout. He's a big heavyweight. He's obviously got punching power to burn. He moved around the ring quite nicely through, um, you know, decent jab, uh, he seemed to have decent footwork, uh, and he really impressed me, actually. Uh, you could question the calibre of his opponent. Uh, Latif Kioti was uh, coming up from you know, a being a cruiserweight fighter. I think he'd had two fights at heavyweight against uh, more journeyman-type opposition. So this was his, his first real fight against a, uh, a sort of serious-level heavyweight, and he got stopped in the first round. So you, you, there certainly is scope to question how big a win it is for Luis Ortiz, but... I really think Ortiz has got some potential. He looks like a, a really, um, really interesting fighter for me, and someone who's, uh, who's could go places in the division. I think two points to highlight about Ortiz. Firstly, uh, he is an ex-Cuban uh, in the sense that he's you know left the Cuban system to become a professional. He's got that sort of uh, Cuban amateur background. He's had something. Pretty impressive, I think, possibly incorrect here, but I think I already had 350 amateur uh, fights as a, a heavyweight, which obviously shows a, a real solid background, and you know that comes across when he fights. Um, I think the other thing to mention is he's actually 35 years old, so we're talking about a um, you know a first breakthrough here, but quite late on in the day, so that that is a concern because obviously. You know, I know heavyweights peak slightly later than other weights, but how much longer do you want to be leaving it before, you know, he he's, he's having a a fight against the real big names? I mean, there's so many people in the queue at heavyweight at the minute. You don't want to wait three or four years and find yourself 39, 40 before you you're in a big fight. So he needs to be moved uh, wisely. He needs to be moved quickly. But he's got a lot to like. Uh, he seems to have a lot of punch in power, as shown by his KO record. He moves well. He also seems, you know, he seems to be in relatively good shape for a, a heavyweight. Certainly, if we compare him to his uh, compatriots, uh, Mike Perez and Odlin Salis. So, uh, I'm very hopeful, and I think he's a, a guy with a big future. What I'd like to see him do now is fight Ruslan Chigaev for the um, WBA regular title. It's a fight I see Ortiz winning quite comfortably. He seems to be uh, a class above Chigaev from what I've seen. Chigaev is. It's a decent yardstick, but nothing more than that. He's a, he's a limited fighter, uh, and I think Luis Ortiz has got quite a bit more to offer. Um, if you look at Luis Ortiz's record, there isn't too much there. Latif Kioti is the the biggest name, which perhaps is a, a bit of a problem. Before that, he fought uh, Monty Barrett, who's obviously a, a long way past his best, and there is a, a real sort of lack of depth to his record, I think. Uh, just checking in front of me. Six fights ago, he fought a guy on his uh, on his debut. Uh, four fights ago, he fought a guy who'd had 37 fights, 25 losses. So we're, we're not looking at depth of record here. However, what we are looking at is somebody who's got a lot of attributes, a lot of potential, and if moved quickly and correctly, could be a force to be reckoned with within the heavyweight division. Uh, so I think he's worth checking out. I'm interested to hear what people's opinions are. He seems to be someone who hasn't generated a lot of interest amongst the boxing public. There's not a lot of stuff about him online. There's not a lot of his. Uh, there's not a lot of fans out there for him. So 
Uh, I'd be interested to see if people have the same opinion as him, I do, and whether or not they see him as someone for the future. Uh, please do leave your comments in the section below. Uh, I'm keen to hear your thoughts, um, and I'll be making more videos very soon.